uh, AK on my nightstand, right next to that Bible. But I swear with these 50 shots, I'll shoot it out with Fibo. Pockets getting too fat, no weight watch, no lipo. Money talks bullshit, walks on a motherfucking tightrope. And I make that pussy tap out, I knock that pussy out cold. Nigga, you can beat the crap out, but that just how the dice roll. These hoes want that hoes pipe, so I give all these hoes pipe. She get on that dick and stay on. True shall prevail when it gets a chance. Currently, a lot of Americans are playing into the debt-based slavery system, where you never get ahead and you always have debt because you're living beyond your means. 50% of the world, not just Americans, but the world is middle income, which means they make between $10 to $20 an hour, yet most businesses, including restaurants and supermarkets, cater to the rich. Excuse me, not the rich, but the wealthy. Bankers know that people, even the rich, will go into debt to look rich, which will generate more interest and income for the wealthy. Because you guys may not necessarily be able to afford to eat out at the best restaurants, but you'll use your credit card too, and you know, as a means of impressing your friends and family to make them believe that you're doing well. On top of that, many Americans are too busy snitching on their neighbors, calling the police about water or whatever, and violating each other's silver, silver rights to even pay attention to what's going on. Many say rent and gas prices are too high and there's nothing we can do about it. However, these same people making those claims got the state and a private business to take down their Confederate flag. So is it that the people have no power or that they're just misguided? They're taking away civil rights from others but ignoring issues that really matter to them. Think about it. You took on the state and a private business and won. You got them to take their Confederate flags down. So why is it that you guys cannot get a private business to lower the gas prices or get your landlord to lower the rent? The fact of the matter is opportunity costs. You have to give up something to get something else in return. And many of you are not willing to go without these luxuries which you cannot afford to get what you need in return. Perhaps that big house on the lake is not for you at this time. Maybe you need a smaller house in a, outside of the gates in a normal community until you can pay that off and move up. It doesn't make sense to live your life to work. You should be able to have leisure time and enjoy life as well. I saw a cloud, though I did not foresee this. Heaven is all above. The curtain of her fate is still undrawn. Think about it. You took on the state and a private business and won. You got them to take their Confederate flags down. So why is it that you guys cannot get a private business to lower the gas prices or get your landlord to lower the rent? The fact of the matter is opportunity costs. You have to give up something to get something else in return. And many of you are not willing to go without these luxuries which you cannot afford to get what you need in return. Perhaps that big house on the lake is not for you at this time. Maybe you need a smaller house in a, outside of the gates in a normal community until you can pay that off and move up. It doesn't make sense to live your life to work. You should be able to have leisure time and enjoy life as well. I saw a cloud, though I did not foresee this. Heaven is all above. The curtain of her fate is still undrawn. 